Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Jenny Leclou for an episode that might be three minutes long. I apologize if I, uh, if I dove out right before the climactic moment last time, but I really d didn't even have enough time for the extra ten minutes we did there at the end. So, I mean, do we think Arthur's going to be able to commit to any of this stuff? Structurally, it, it makes a lot of sense for it to still be Dean Strawsberry. Um, and also, it's kind of funny, like... <laughs> It's a sort of a sort of a dark humor that Dean Strawsbury goes to all this trouble to fake his own death and then he ends up dying for real anyway. Um, and I just feel like it being Jenny or Jenny's mom is so unbelievably dark. Which is not to say that I don't want to see what happens if we pick those. Um, also, am I allowed to move around the desk at all? No. Can I refuse? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit enter right here. No, just I won't do it. Okay. I think there's like a 40% chance that Arthur's going to refuse to do it no matter who I pick. But I guess let's do... let's do Dean Strawsberry? Yeah. Also, I want to say before I before I pick this, you know, for, <laughs> for suspense purposes, um, I still am pretty unclear on what was going on with the, with the fake death plot in the first place. So, like, Dean Strawsbury did not go into the week intending to fake his own death, right? Because he made appointments that he cared about keeping for after the time of his death. But then he met with Julie, and I guess, th what, that was like Monday or Tuesday night, right? And that's where the plan must have been hatched, or maybe she already had the plan, and that's where he found out about it. Um, and at that point, he decided to go through with this fake your death thing. So then he was going to meet her in the library for the purposes of faking his death there, but then he accidentally dropped his ring into the malfunctioning ladder thing and electrocuted himself, but not to death. But then they decided to just go ahead and quickly fake his death after he had electrocuted himself. Like... It is not entirely clear to me. <laughs> clear to me still what happened, obviously. And although Jenny seems to, I have no idea why. But that's okay. We're about to get answers. Think about all the answers we're gonna get. Wait, will it let me pick multiple? <laughs> but what if everybody dies? Okay, no. It, when I when I circle one person, it uncircles the other people. Okay. No, then we're going to stick with Dean Strasberg. I would have gone for an Everybody Dies ending. Yep, that's that's the one. Let's see it. Fate has spoken, but is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. And there's literally a chapter select, so... Um, also, also... When I went to start up the game to record this episode, it downloaded like a 600 meg update, so... I, I'm shocked this game is still receiving patches, but there were no patch notes or anything. I have no idea what changed, so... Well, that was easier than I thought. It's the only way this scene can end. The ending the book deserves. It makes a lot of sense, right, for it to be the Dean. I, I suppose there's also a certain poetry to it being Julie, but man, that's harsh. <clears throat> As I was saying... What was that? No more interruptions! The tremors were getting more violent and more frequent. Please! I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement! Everyone in town thinks CJ is crazy. A madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthurton. But all the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. And also sometimes aliens. Alright, what do I know about Arthurton's secret history? Uh, some things. A thing or two. <clears throat> uh, I mean, that's a pretty good one. That's just a guy who dropped a wrench and tried to kill me with it. That's pretty... The, the Council of Three is a pretty good one. That's just, I guess, the existence of the number stations, but I think that the um, the Zazer Sphere gets that point across a little bit more clearly. Let's uh, let's do this. Are 
Arthur team is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of the experiments went tragically wrong and caused the collapse of the quartz mines. They covered it up and blamed the miners. And yet the experiments didn't stop. Instead, they built an even bigger facility. Years after the accident in the mines, an even greater tragedy struck Arthurton. Only this time, the townspeople didn't know. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. The rest of the world think we disappeared. At first, I thought I was solving two separate mysteries. But then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked. And that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. So we just totally believe that thing that we saw on a VHS tape of unknown provenance in an underground lab. Like, there's no other evidence for that to be the case, right? In theory, if it's true, we should be we should find ourselves unable to leave town and go to the outside world. Maybe they should have included a scene of Jenny attempting that so that we know <laughs> that that's a real thing. Because right now... She's just kind of believing the last thing she was told. And again, by kind of nobody. So, alright. Why did Mom and Dean Strasbury stage Dean's death? Well, it probably doesn't have anything to do with secret other side dad, because Mom, at the very least, seems completely unaware of that. Although, the thing about Dad's death totally makes, you know, that's motive. Uh, and then also a spoon? Also, they care a great deal about a spoon. And I don't know if this is meant to be the actual card or just like an abstract representation of the whole underground facility thing. I'm going to choose to take it the second way. Because again, I don't think this one makes any sense and this one is just the Dean is forgetful. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's try this. working for the university. He was working on Zazer's machines. All under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three, or at least he works for them. His ring hides a key to access secret stations around town. Through her own investigation, Mom concluded that Dad had died under suspicious circumstances. She confronted the Dean. Racked with guilt, he confessed and begged for her forgiveness. Instead of letting anger cloud her judgment, Mom saw an opportunity. And together, you concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. Oh, what a brilliant mind you have, Jenny LeClue. Julie, I believe you underestimated this girl. You could have gotten yourself killed. But I didn't. Well, I still might. I'm not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. A flower cannot blossom without light. Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm trying to figure out, like, is there a reason you would reject this? I, th I don't think it's even necessarily in character for, like, the mean Jenny. Hey, okay, Mom. You were running out of time to save Mr. Strasbury. I was trying to protect you. I know. <sighs> I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. I just apologized. No, not about that. Everyone presumed Dad died in the lab explosion. So did I, until today. But then, I started finding secret messages all over town. They led me to a secret room under the graveyard. And there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? 
Dad is alive. But he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. He made it back? Excuse me? The experiment worked! Exactly! But if he made it back, that means... We can all get back! We need to get to the machine, right away. And then get exploded by it? First, we need to find Professor Zazer. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Narratively, whose agency am I representing here? Is there someone in this room? Maybe it's the Shadow Man. Uh, so... We're gonna pull one of these. Is this gonna kill somebody? No, because we made the decision about who was gonna die before, right? But, I, you know, I can't help but notice that these do correspond to, like, sort of roughly to the positions of the people in the room. This is the one that would be the Dean in that situation. So I guess... Although again, I'm not sure who, who were... I guess it's just Arthur, right? It's always Arthur. We are always representing Arthur's agency in some way or another. This is the part where we find out that Jenny LeClue is in the same continuity as Inside. I mean, that's pretty weird. Again, I feel... Are you kidding? Wait, 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 wait. I don't I want to talk over... I don't want to talk over the loving dedication to the mother. Um, a great detective leaves no puzzle unsolved. Does that mean that there's a thing that I didn't... Could I have gotten an ending ending? Is there something I missed? That's, um... That's not an ending. That's not an ending to the book, Arthur K. Finkelstein. So if we went back and, and pulled a different switch, would it just teleport out someone else? There's... Okay. This is like a real... Um, this is a real video game trope, right? The, the thing where like you make a bunch of choices during the game and you're told that you're... you're at, least, at least it is implied that your choices matter, but then in the end... They just take you to a room that literally has, like, three buttons in it, and you press a button to pick an ending. Um, this is, like, a weird version of that trope, where you press a button, and you pick one thing that happens on your way to there not being an ending. <laughs> maybe maybe there's more of an ending. Aw. Good work, Tilly. Maybe there's more of an ending if we press the other switches. Um, can we... Is this skippable? This is not skippable. Well... Aha! Uh, nope, never, <laughs> never mind. I guess let's watch to the end of the credits here, and we'll just... We'll just see if there's another scene? Maybe there's another scene. Because, like, what about the Shadow Man? And what about... I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of unanswered questions yet. I wonder if the decision about whose name to circle on the post-its means anything at all. It almost can't, right? Given what we saw there. Yeah, I'm trying to maintain... I'm trying to restrain myself from, from judgment here until we see whether we're actually at the end 
Um, but if we are, that's very unsatisfying. If we, <laughs> if we are, it does it does sort of seem like either they just ran out of money and stopped making the video game wherever they were at that exact moment, or they maybe didn't have a good idea what the answers to the questions they were asking were and just decided not to come up with answers for them. I want to believe that neither one of those things is the case. I just got an achievement called The End, though, so... Seems like... What happens if I hit continue? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is what happens. It just shows you the credits again. Okay. Well, well, and I don't have access to the gallery. That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Can we quit back to the main menu? This is going to take us out of the game entirely. Okay, so... I pretty much, I just want to do the last lever thing again, just out of curiosity. So let's, let's hit the thing here. Uh, and if there's a bunch of dialogue left, if we're at the beginning of this scene. Oh no, okay, this is like, is this right before the switches? Tremors were getting more violent. No, okay, this is not right before the switches. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pause the recording and play this forward until the switches. We're gonna try pulling a different switch and seeing if anything notable happens. So, I will see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. Uh, I did choose different images for the last couple of deductions uh, that were made during this scene. And there actually is different dialogue. She says things based on the images that you pick. But she still reaches the same conclusion, which I actually think is a pretty cool way of doing that. Because there are a lot of different ways to, like, walk the lines of logic based on the evidence we saw to the same ideas. I think that's actually a really neat design. Alright, we're going to try pulling this one. So, like, there's a pretty good chance that all this is going to do is just make Julie disappear, right? And if that is the case, um, if Julie does disappear when we do this, then that strongly suggests that the the post-it note choice actually does nothing and means nothing, which would be extremely odd. Okay, so maybe the post-it note choice just determines who disappears, which I guess makes some sense. And then the levers don't do anything? I... Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go look some things up on the internet real quick. Uh, because there are some answers I want to have before I before I do any kind of outro for the series here. So once again, I'll just I'll just see y'all in a moment. Okay, well, I can now verify that yeah, the, at least according to the people on the internet who have never said an untruthful thing to anyone under any circumstances. Uh, it seems like the switches just don't do anything. There just are no the game does not have an ending. They stopped before they got to the ending. Uh, and apparently there's talk of there's supposed to be another one, but like... First of all, cool. I liked this one. I want to play another one. But secondly, that's not how that works. You can't just be like, so I'm not... So we're not going to finish the last 10% of our game. Um, so that's a huge bummer. Like, we end up not really getting very many answers at all. We get a new, a new big weird thing dropped on us at the last moment, and then we don't get to explore the implications of that even a little bit. And then the game's just over. Um, it does let you 
enter the journal from the main menu at the end. So I did so I did this. I set up a little tribute to Susie down there in the lower left. That uh, that caution barricade thing is the closest that I had to a lab table. And then just, you know, some other scenes from our adventure and how much Jenny loves birds. Um, if we look at the... the uh, Wait, exit. Uh, there we go. How do I... Wait. There we go. <clears throat> uh, we're still marked as a CEO on the choosiness page. I don't know if that's... Those bars are, have definitely moved. M maybe there are other ratings. I don't think that I am much like a CEO, and I don't think I would make a very good CEO, frankly. Um, I like actually getting stuff done and being meaningful to, to the job too much. Uh, we never finished that last postcard, which is a shame. Uh, and then... Is, the, is, there, is there a marker on the... No, okay, there's not even a choice marker for the levers. So they really, like, the emergency releases at the end just are absolutely nothing. <laughs> Huh. What a design, right? What a weird... I sort of don't know what to make of it. Well, I guess that's... I guess that's it. I guess that's going to be it for Jenny LeClue detective -oo. I'm super bummed out. That sucks. <laughs> it's not even a bad ending. It's just not an ending. The game just... Arthur just stopped writing. I wonder if, like, I wonder if the publisher would actually accept someone mysteriously disappeared instead of someone died. Because, like, Arthur clearly has no intention of that person actually being dead, right? I don't know. We may, we may still not have gotten the book published. <laughs> and I guess if a sequel never materializes, then, then that's the canon ending, is that Arthur, Arthur was unwilling to commit to the thing, and so there is no further Jenny LeClue books. Um... But yeah, I guess I guess what I'm saying is we're done, and I don't like it. I really had a lot of fun with this. I really I I was way into pretty much every part of what happened here, except for the part where it stopped happening with no denouement of any kind. <laughs> ah, very disappointing ending. All right, well, that's it for us for today and for Jenny Leclue for the moment at least. When you come back next time on Monday, we'll be doing some different stuff. Um, hopefully some stuff that has a proper ending. That would be neat. And we'll see you then.